sing that song. It's catchy. What's wrong with it? Yeah, but it was written by Pierre, I suppose. Oh yeah, I remember Pierre. Yeah, what well, met him earlier on our adventure. Wait, why are we on this adventure again? Because the king called for the best two heroes in the kingdom to go and sort out his hair problem by finding. Yeah, they weren't, and they weren't available, so he yeah. called us. Yeah. To find. Oh yes, to find the comb in the stone. The comb. Ha! Ah! But who are you? Um, what are those strange clothes? What are these blue pantaloons? They're called jeans, my friend. But what about these face noculars? They're called glasses. My name is Matt. But where are you from? Well, where I'm from isn't actually important because I'm from here. The real question is, when am I from? I've traveled from your future, hundreds of years in the future. Would you like me to show you? Uh, yes. Let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Oh, what is this place? What wonders do I see around? What is that? What is this? A privy made of stone? Um, yes, yeah, that, that's the public toilet. Look, we've got better things to show you. But, but look at it. We could but dream of such wonders. I know, but we have actual planes that fly in the sky now. But this place, I am moved. I, I, I feel like I should write a sonnet about this momentous occasion. Please, Please don't. don't. Oh, privy made of stone, taking poos to places unknown. Look, 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 you what? said, you said that you were after a comb in a stone. That's well, right, yes. In these times, we have far better things that you can use. Let me show you. Okay, so I have got some hairspray, a hairbrush, hair paste, hair wax, uh, more hair wax, hair powder, and nose hair trimmer. See, I told you we have got wonderful, wonderful things These to are do amazing. your hair. Actually, I'm incredible. I haven't done my hair yet. Uh, just hold on to that a second. Okay, okay. I'll just in the reflection here. Do -do -do. You look so good! Hey there everyone, it's Joe, and today I'm joined by Matt. As you know, week four looks a little bit different, so today I'm going to talk a bit about Easter. Matt, are you excited about Easter? Definitely. Easter's great, isn't it? But before we, before we get started, Matt, do you want some chewing gum? Yeah, definitely. Here you go. Got some chewing gum here for you. Thank you. A nice new packet of chewing gum. Why don't you open it up and have a piece? So what does this have to do with Easter? Matt, this has everything to do with Easter. In the Bible, Jesus died on a cross and he was buried in a tomb and they put a giant rock over the entrance so nobody could get in. Mm -hmm. However, the story doesn't end there because two women find the tomb empty. They're expecting one thing and they found nothing but emptiness, just like you found there was nothing in the chewing gum. How did you feel when the pack of gum was empty, Matt? A little confused. A bit confused, eh? Exactly. You didn't find what you expected, did you? No, definitely not. Matt, why was the tomb empty? Well, because Jesus was and is alive. Exactly. And so the message of Easter really is quite simple. Jesus died and rose again. So why did he do that? To make a way for me and you and you to be friends with God again. Wow, that's awesome stuff, Matt. <laughs> if any of you at home want to be friends with God, then all you have to do is ask him. It's that simple. In a minute, Matt is gonna pray. And if you want to ask God to be your friend, then you can pray this prayer along with us. So Matt, take us away. Fantastic, let's pray. Father God, thank you for Easter and thank you for the miracle of your son, Jesus. Thank you for the empty tomb and thank you for the empty pack of gum. And we pray that 
anybody who wants to become your friend will be able to do that and enter into a relationship with you. Amen. Amen. Well, shall we go shall we go see how our heroes are getting on? Yes, why not? <laughs> I think you got away from it. But we are running with such speed. <laughs> Guys! A oh. bit out of breath, are we? What is this horseless carriage and how does it work? Ah, another invention of the modern times. Internal combustion engine. I could do this all day. Keep on running if you want. Oh, they'll never learn. Toot toot! Okay, okay, guys, 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 I could do this all day, but I've got places to go, I've got people to see. How about you just give me them back and we'll go about our day. But it's only a few small hair care products, what could possibly go wrong? But even the most tiniest, seemingly insignificant thing could have a shattering impact on the world that we live in. Our king just wants to have hair as glorious as yours. Oh, guys. Go on then, let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. Ready? Oh, I love this clapping thing. Okay, <laughs> we're back. Yep. Everything seems all right. Yeah, all good. <sighs> yep. well. Everything's looking good, yep. You see, I told you, nothing could go wrong. It's I just um, have one question. Yes, what's up? Do you normally have a dancing Godzilla in your rage? No. Oh, right. oh, I just wonder what that was over there. So I'll, I'll go back to my side. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, he's gone. Thank goodness for that. And so is Godzilla. Well, I guess we'll have to help our king the old-fashioned way. Onward to the cone in the stone. 